Um, we've been doing some what I hope will be interesting work behind the scenes to give you some background to why we have experienced the tax changes that we have experienced over the last year or so, and especially in the autumn statement and before that. First of all, really, really important, having a look at where tax receipts come from. Getting more tax in is really important to the government for very obvious reasons. It probably won't surprise you, but here are some numbers to go behind the lack of surprise. Income tax accounts for 27.7% of the tax yield in 2023-24, the expected tax yield. National insurance, 17.7%. VAT, 16.6%. And corporation tax, 9.3%, which leaves not that much left of other taxes to contribute to the overall pot. Effectively, seven pounds in every 10 comes from four taxes and six pounds in every 10 generated comes from three taxes. No surprise then that more concentration is given by the government to those taxes that can have the biggest impact on their yield when considering tax change that they could make. Now we all know I would hope by now, about the impact that those frozen allowances and thresholds are having, especially in relation to income tax. With inflation pushing wages up, not as high as some would wish, of course, but pushing wages up, when you have the thresholds remaining as they are, it means more people are subject to tax, quite obviously. And that does the job for the government in a kind of non-aggressive way, but increasingly noticeable way. Just consider this, the six year freeze on the personal allowance and the higher rate thresholds leads to these outcomes by the end of 2027, 28 tax year, when the freezing is supposed to start thawing. 3.2 million, 3.2 million taxpayers, 2.6 million new higher rate taxpayers. So 3.2 million new taxpayers and 2.6 million new higher rate taxpayers. How about that additional rate? You know the threshold that's dropping to 125,140 pounds from the next tax year, from the 2023-24 tax year, from the 6th of April 2023, that's dropping and then remaining frozen. So what impact will that have? Well, it will affect 792,000 taxpayers. That's the number of taxpayers that will be affected by that drop in the additional rate threshold, 232,000 of whom would not otherwise have paid additional rates of tax. What does that mean for financial planners? It means this quite simply, I think, is that more taxpayers, and then more importantly, more higher rate taxpayers and more additional rate taxpayers means more tax pain. More tax pain means more appetite for easing that pain. And that's where you come in.